Hey guys, it's Protendo, and Kirby in the Forgotten Land could just be the greatest Kirby game of all time. Bold claim, I know, but every time we see this game it looks even more appealing. Visually beautiful and mechanically interesting, Forgotten Land looks like it'll live up to HAL's claims that it'll be their best game yet. And personally, I think the most interesting thing about it is seeing how all these classic Kirby things are adapted into 3D. The level design seems more conscious of the Z-axis, the boss battles seem more complex, and most importantly, the copy abilities look as fun as ever. I don't think anyone would deny that copy abilities are the lifeblood of Kirby games. So much of the series' charm comes from the ability to approach any one problem in a variety of ways, using the copy abilities' distinct attributes and movesets. And from what we've seen of Forgotten Land so far, this seems to hold true. Not only do the copy abilities seem like a joy to use, as per usual, but they also seem like they've been made specifically to feel good in 3D. Powers like Needle have new forms designed to make moving in three dimensions feel smoother. And the new abilities, Drill and Ranger, feel perfectly made for 3D gameplay. And on top of that, every single copy ability can be upgraded twice to gain a more powerful form, some of which just look plain awesome. But despite all the amazing things we've seen so far, I can't help but be a little selfish and think, what if there were more? With every copy ability seeming like tons of fun to control and perfectly adapted into 3D, I can't help but hope that more end up finding their way into the game. So that's what we're going to discuss today. I'm going to go over the top 10 copy abilities I want to see the most in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It's important to note that this isn't just me picking my favorites, but also considering the factors provided by the new game how useful and fitting they would be to the gameplay, how cool their upgrades would be, and most importantly, how well they would control in a 3D space. With that said, let's get into the top 10. Starting us off at number 10, we've got Beam. And I know I just gave that whole speech about how this wouldn't just be me picking my favorites and would actually be about other factors instead, but yeah, I sorta just like Beam. Not that that detracts from how cool it could be in Forgotten Land, because I still think it would be extremely cool. Sure, some adjustments would have to be made, but if properly adapted, I could see it being a no-brainer for 3D. Imagine some sort of extended version of that, you know that one move, that move where Kirby shoots diagonally downwards and propels himself into the air? A beam bounce, if you will. A lot of the abilities we've seen so far are either close combat focused, like Sword and Hammer, or projectile focused, like Cutter and Ranger. And while Beam does have a projectile, a pretty notable one, I've always been a bigger fan of the parts of the moveset that just act like a very large weapon is being wielded. The range of a projectile with the control of a handheld. And I think that'd be really cool in this game. Next up, at number 9, we've got Wheel. And I'll be honest, this was initially much higher on the list, but then we found out about Mouthful Mode and a purpose was kind of filled. However, I don't think that Carby makes the wheel ability completely obsolete. Mouthful Mode seems like this game's super ability, aka Hypernova, aka Robobot Armor, in that there are certain areas in which they're to be used, but don't serve much of a purpose outside of those segments, fun as they may be. I chose Wheel for one reason and one reason alone, the movement. It's already insanely fun to zoom around in the 2D games, but imagine how great it would be to do that in this new 3D world. Boosting over hills and under crevices, it just sounds ridiculously enjoyable. At number 8, Archer. Archer is such a great one, and while we do have a plethora of projectile abilities, including the new Ranger ability, I'd still love to see Archer make its return and 3D debut. This one would probably need some of the most alterations to make it work in 3D, since a lot of the simplicity of the power came from the lack of precise aiming that naturally comes with being in a 2D platformer. Forgotten Land obviously adds a whole new dimension to that. But seeing as they added Ranger, another ability that focuses on precision, I imagine they figured out a way to make it work that could be applied to Archer. Maybe some sort of target locking system could be activated, allowing Kirby to pull off some truly insane shots. Anyways, this one might be harder to adapt, but I'd love to see them give it a shot. Coming in at number 7, we've got Parasol. Is this one of the most interesting abilities in Kirby's arsenal? No. Is it amazingly fun to use? Eh, not any more than any of the other abilities. No, Parasol is only here because I think it'd be really fun to climb up really high and slowly float down in a 3D space. Next ability. At number 6, we have Fighter. This one would be great for variety alone. There are very few copy abilities that are quite as up close and personal as Fighter, and the ones that are don't seem to appear in Forgotten Land in any way. I can only imagine how creative things could get with integrating Fighter into 3D, circling your foe while looking for the perfect moment to strike and pull off an insane combo move. That just sounds awesome, and now I'll be bummed out if I don't get to do it. 
Next up at number 5, we've got Ninja. Ninja is one of the quickest Kirby abilities to use, and I think that would lend itself well to Forgotten Land, specifically in combat. And I know that sounds like a no-brainer, but a lot of the abilities I've chosen so far have been for their movement or puzzle potential. But Ninja would be fun almost purely when fighting enemies. I love the idea of sneaking up on your opponent to strike, only to sneak back out after attacking, maybe throwing some extra projectiles in doing so. Many have compared this ability to Sword, but 1, it's infinitely more stylish, and 2, the combination of quick projectile throwing and equally quick katana slashes makes it stand out in my mind. I'd definitely like to see it return in Forgotten Land. Wing takes the number 4 spot, and similarly to Wheel, this is purely for movement reasons. I know there's already a mouthful mode glider, but like I addressed before, I'm assuming those are the gimmick and not part of the general gameplay. Imagine how fun it would be to glide through the air using the Wing ability. Some restrictions would definitely have to be applied to it to ensure it's not game-breaking, just like restrictions seem to be applied to how much Kirby can do his float jump thing before touching the ground, but man, just the thought of gliding my way through these scenic Kirby environments in 3D is so appealing. And I know I keep repeating myself when I say that every single one of these powers would be cool in 3D, but that's easily the most important factor here. If I don't think the abilities would translate well with the addition of another dimension, then they didn't make the list. Wing easily has one of the coolest potential applications in 3D of any of the copy abilities, and while it could just as easily be replaced with Jet, there's something slightly more captivating about it being Wing to me. Maybe because Forgotten Land seems very in touch with nature, with its overgrown cities and animal-based bosses, I'm not exactly sure. Next up at number 3, we've got ESP. Being the newest ability on this list, ESP is a power I don't think I'll ever get tired of Kirby having, and its potential is absolutely insane when considering the upgrades. It already allows for the creation of electric fields and teleportation, so imagine what else it could do if it was even stronger. Maybe it could allow you to telekinetically move objects or even enemies through the air, or create force fields around yourself to minimize damage. Whatever the case, I'd love to see this ability taken to a whole new level. And plus, teleporting around with lightning speed will never not be fun. Coming in at number 2, we've got Mirror, which to me has always just been the cooler beam. The hat is cooler, the effects are cooler, and most importantly, the moves are cooler. Mirror would be absolutely insane in Forgotten Land. The ability to multiply yourself in a variety of different ways would be amazing in combat, puzzles, and even movement. Imagine a new move where Kirby duplicates himself and launches the new version forward, only for the old version to be pulled forward and combined with the new one, covering some insane distance. And like ESP, this one could truly get insane with the upgrades. Imagine being able to split into more and more Kirbys with every scroll you find. Imagine an ultra-advanced move where you can keep one of the duplicates alongside you, almost like the double cherry in Mario 3D World, and fight together until it gets hit. If there's any copy ability that made its way onto this list for coolness alone, it'd be Mirror. And finally, number one. The best possible ability to add to Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Water. This one has it all. It's insanely fun to use, enjoyable in combat, provides the unique purpose of walking on water, offers incredible movement options, has decent puzzle applications, and has one of the best Kirby hats there is. What more could you reasonably ask for? Yes, there's this new water-based mouthful mode, but I think I've already explained why that doesn't matter all that much and shouldn't disqualify abilities that look similar at first glance. The creativity of water would be incredible in Forgotten Land, and I sincerely hope it makes it in, even if we've probably already seen all the abilities the game has to offer. Eh, at least Cutter is confirmed. That's a top tier Kirby hat right there. But anyways guys, that's about it for this video. As always, I'd love to hear what you think. Do you agree with my list of copy abilities that should make it into Forgotten Land? If not, what are your most wanted copy abilities for Kirby's first mainline 3D outing? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Kirby content. I'll see you guys later. Protendo, out.